Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Last time we visited a mental institute, basically a place of healing, ends up the person in charge tortured the people and lobotomized them to be in charge. Now we're in New Orleans because apparently the people who are being shipped everywhere are... The people paying for it are in New Orleans, so we're here to check them out. Now let's just go ahead and do that. Ah, not an auspicious start, is it? Never mind, I'll handle it. You go on ahead. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put everything back. Uh, where are the socks? Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get started in New Orleans. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I know this. Yeah, let me help you. Oh, thank you. The bank can be found on the street up the port to the left side of the harbor master building. Opposite Chinatown. Yes, it really let me help you them. Alright. Well, we're in New Orleans. I didn't expect to come to the US in this game, but here we are. To the left. May I ask for your assistance? I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't help you. All right. Well, I know where I'm going. Don't worry. There's a union. I'm going to say that's them. That big building. On shop. No. That's a house. I mean, I could walk into the Union place and check it out. If I could, never mind. Alright, so it's over here somewhere. It's on the left side. Palm broker, Baldi's, barbershop, tobacco. Got a spot in mind? Actually, I'm not sure yet. May I ask for your assistance? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. But at least you try. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Probably more over this way. This is on the left side. This is the left side. Ah. Whoops. Did me a skip whatever I just skipped by accident. Here's my Puya. Abe Lincoln live. Sadly, he's dead ever violet, so I'll realize that. He has a sandwich in his pocket. Um, okay, let's see what we get. The guard at the bank is a real character storing a sandwich in his pocket while reading Abe Lincoln alive. Makes the guard a paranoid fool of bad taste. Besides, the man has my puya. Or storing a sandwich in his pocket at the same time while reading a Lincoln Live makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. My poo is a result of constant reading. You know, I might do critical thinker for now. Let's see if I was right. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Damn. Move along, mister. Ain't nothing here for you. Home. Over here. Oh, please shout my name after I decide to be someone else. None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. 
And do you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Oh, he'll donate his. Can't do outfits yet, which is extremely annoying because I unlocked a bunch of outfits. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bone tired, but yes, I'll help you. Thank you. He owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Thank you, sir. I would give you a tip, but I cannot. All right, Barnaby's Hidden Gems. How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Barnaby, ah! Locked, no one's here. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Mm. Damn, he at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Um, that's not good. Are you able to help me? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owns the money. He is known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at a local bar called the Giddy Gator in the Creole Corridor. Order. He was recognized by his yellow hat and green jacket. All right, the uh, Giddy Gator in the Creole Corner. Giddy Gator, that's the gun store. Don't need a gun today. Watson has one. Um. Oh look, there's a cat. Um. Looking for the giddy gator. Watson, why don't you help me? Let's find the giddy gator. Hmm. All right, I'm back. I basically called it. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm too tired. So now, well, it's daytime, but yeah, whatever. So Frank Barnaby is the owner of the an invitation to a bank auction. He owns a shop called Barnaby Hidden Gems in Chinatown. He probably is at the Giggity Giddy Gator in the Creole Corp. <laughs> now where's the Giddy Gator? That's what I was doing last. Trying to find the Giddy Gator. Found it. Black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E. W. Gray. Hmm. Okay. Also, we found this place. There's a Spartan charm, does it not? It, it does. does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Hmm. All right. Let's go in. Oh, never mind. That's not the door. Oh, there's the giddy gator. Oh, is that him? I see it. Barnaby, unconscious, but with his eyes open. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. <laughs> Not what he meant. Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in the closed auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact, contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. One more unacceptable incident and we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Holmes. He's not Watson, wearing it. Time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. 
Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Act a little drunk, too. Just Holmes, a little must bit. we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. <laughs> this jacket and hat are so ugly. Oh, green and yellow. A combination you should never wear. Yeah, I take it this will be an outfit you can unlock for Watson, and he'll never be happy if you wear it. Real quick, let's just go... I was going to teleport there, but I guess you can't. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm... You know, Miss Where's my cash, Frank? In the bartender's tip jar? Oh, he knows who I am. Frank. All right, let's get going. All right. Where's the money, Barnaby? Well, it's working. People think I owe them money. Real quick, I'm going to do something. All right, I'm back from my break. I had to do something. Oh. I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. All right. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are, shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Oh, come on in. Well, it's working. For now. Heavens, I never seen Jim so big. I simply. The bank holds an auction. The banking house of E.W. Gray will be hosting a closed auction of black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rare stones. However, the bank clerk, Miss Zoe Clemens, has confirmed the authenticity of each stone. They must have them. Okay. Black Opal Origin Australia, weight 40 carats. Rare stone believed oh, uh, to be a piece of the shattered space rock that fell to Earth. Is this familiar to you? You better ask someone else about that. Oh, I'm still asking about that. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. Mm-hmm. I mean, those old... Oh, wow, wait. Oh, wow. Can I ask you a question? Those I'm rocks... sorry, but I've never heard of that. Those rocks look really nice, actually. I'll take one. There's also cash right there. Mmm, those are special. Um, probably unpin that and just talk to people normally. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope. Mmm. Is this familiar to you? You better ask someone else about that. Is this familiar to you? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Is this familiar to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Interesting. What am I supposed to be doing? I have no idea. I know. Exciting, ain't it? I'll be right with you. Okay. Feel free to look around while I finish up. I'm nearly done, sir. Have you got acquainted with our lots? 
I'm nearly done, sir. Have you got acquainted with our lots? Uh, yes, actually. Help me, please. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, because there's no other thing at the moment. You can't do... Oh, wait. Who is Jewel Seller A? Mr. Frank Barnaby, the owner of an invitation... Um, two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money he's known for alcoholism. I'm gonna say Barnaby, and then we don't have any info, so this is useless. Hmm. Ain't you in a rush? Go on, head inside. I will head inside, yes, sir. Just let me look around while I'm trying to find things. Maybe take this off. It might be screwing it up. I'm nearly done, sir. Have you got acquainted with our lots? Hmm. Dominic Summer. Hmm. I have absolutely no clue. Yeah. Pieces of evidence are leading. There will be an auction. That will sell great opals black opals problem is is then nothing else is happening hmm help me please i don't want to disappoint you but i'm clueless i'm nearly done sir have you got acquainted with our lots could you help me you better ask someone else about that is this familiar to you you better ask someone else about that. Mash, 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 mash. That is nothing, apparently. Huh. Oh. And Watson doesn't have the view, so I can't do that. Take that off. Huh. Oh. This my There we go. Okay. Black with philanthropists. The banking house of EW Grant thinks it's fine philanthropists. Alright. More evidence. Now let's ask about it. Oh, I can talk to her now. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never... I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. 
Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity? Ha! <laughs> what have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, oh, Grub? Mm. He's the sheriff. He's large, wool hat, oversized. He's a gold revolver champion, proud or poser. Sheriff Grub, position of power. Oh. Fashionable or hates getting hands dirty. Cares for appearance. Oh, wow, these are completely different in a lot of ways. Okay, so Toothless Dog. Sheriff Grubb is actually a barking toothless dog. The man attempts to make an impression that he is an important figure in the life of New Orleans. However, he is just a small cog in the governmental machine. In fact, the sheriff feels so uncomfortable and displeased with his role, he, he tries to compensate with ridiculous tournaments, fashionable looks, and threatening behavior. Or, Sheriff Grubb is the law of New Orleans. He is fairly eccentric, looking for looking after his nails and image. How, however, it is just a cover for his true nature, a remorseless and high-powerful individual in the local community who uses his image to distract from the disguise of his true nature. Ooh. It's an oversized hat. Cares for appearance. The hat's oversized, so if he absolutely cared for his appearance. Man attempts to make an impression that he's an important figure. Proud or poser? I'm gonna say he's a... He's a toothless dog. Sorry, Sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Y yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. I might just normal one. Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels around these parts. Feed them to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. Yeah, he knew. 100%. Do you know anything about this? You better ask someone else about that. Yeah, let's go. I wouldn't have paid him the money. Holmes, bad news. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. All right, back to the boat. Oh, technically, I think I could fast travel there.
Maybe. There we are. Yeah, I think I got the thing about the sheriff wrong. Eh, yeah, I'm trying to get those right, <laughs> but they are... Some of them are a little difficult. Mm. By the way, heads up. Um, of course, when I'm done with the month of horrors, I'll be resuming with Elden Ring, which I'm messing with some things off screen, of course. I'm not doing much. I'm just, you know, leveling up here and there and just messing some, with some things. But for my retro game, I'm going old. Old, old, like, and, and and yes, old, but with English translation. I'm playing, I plan on playing the original Dragon Quest. I love Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest 3 is getting its HD remaster, which I'm not happy with. So I'm going to play all the original Dragon Quest games. Because why not? It'd be better than the remasters. A pox on the crew. A pox on the crew. Oh, wait, it... Which boat are we going to? So yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, I'll be playing original Dragon Quest. Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Welcome Ooh. home. Uh... We found the ladies. Can I ask you a question? No, honey, I've heard nothing. Uh, hell there, low there, I am. I'm getting, um, as funny as I'm saying this, I'm getting, um, wait. so I'm going back to the boat and change. Is this not the boat? Probably not, now I think about. This looks like a, well, let's go up here. Hey, I'm getting, uh, vibes of Blood West, because there's that ferry boat you can go to which has one a, a really good weapon on it i think that game's come out with a dlc too which i can't wait because i love blood west the style the static gameplay Ooh. oh i have to I, I, hey no no was that your luggage again i don't understand we just got it back in order Oh. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. Oh, bollocks, now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Just take the jacket and hat <laughs> you off. got yourself in a fine pickle. <laughs> All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the Sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barterby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. <laughs> one more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the Sheriff. <laughs> Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Ugh. Oh. Go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. Nice. All right, let's see if it's a setup. I don't think it is. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. The American jacket. Honestly, I like that. Hmm. He's looking good. 
Ah, oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? <laughs> can we mess with... Yeah, clothing's not available. Uh, Lucy, help us. Don't understand it yet, but let's go to the Creel Quarter, which is... Oh, I'm not... Oh, I can't fast travel. Let me check. Oh, now I can. Look for champagne. Look for the fisherman's quarters. That's the Giddy Gator. That's the Giddy Gator bar. Let's ignore the... Meow, meow to you too, kitty. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I've heard talk. People have said that Champagne lives in the Fisherman's Quarter in a hut on a boat. She owns two dogs. Raph, oh God. Wanted for conspiracy to commit tax fraud via necromancy? Look, Watson, what have we here? A local crime star. A star? You have a strange way with words. Frankly, we have more pressing matters. I'm not going after these troublemakers, but the posters will add nicely to my collection of criminal profiles. I read a study that suggests facial features can determine a person's tendency towards cruelty or deviant behavior. Well, you can't stop progress. There are wanted poster criminal. Uh, oh. So get them all. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try. If I miss any, that's going to be upsetting, but eh. If I get the option to A, end the chapter and continue forward. Could you help me? No, first I've heard of it. And so. Believe you. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's go. We're looking. She lives on a boat and owns two dogs. Wait, I want the poster. Comic Sweet Roll Judicator for stealing 20 oranges and the oranges and a pack of nuts. Three fine horses for just wait, what? Three fine horses for 20 oranges? That's a steal. Man, I can steal 20 oranges. Alright, let me shrink that. I don't need that wide open. I I'm hearing something in there. Can I go in there? No, and I can't interact with the door either. So it's probably nothing. I found the market. Got pig, sausage, herb, fruit, vegetables. Hmm. Now I'm keeping an eye out for one. Aha! Donald the Wet Bandit. McLeod, uh, for assaulting relatives with a raw, <laughs> for assaulting relatives with a raw chicken, five dollars in a pair of shoes. Massachusetts. Okay. Right now, I'm just running around New Orleans because I want the wanted posters now because they're actually kind of funny. All right, that's his shop. I was looking at it, there's nothing down there. I can speak it too. Um, anything over? Oh, wait. I saw you. Dan Lord Smith for piracy. As much gold as the wanted ways. Man, these wanted posters have, um, a bit of a weird reward. Just saying. Yeah, 
that. We don't have enough yet for that. I'm just messing with it. Lucy's help and wanted posters. I mean, I don't think I need the wanted posters. Hang on, I'm finding them decently by myself. Meow. Honestly, I'm enjoying running just through New Orleans. But yeah, the rewards and some of the uh, crimes committed for this is kind of funny. Beat relatives of the raw chicken. Pair of shoes. What did you do? Jennifer Black. Oh, you poisoned your husband. Let's see. For baking and selling pies with human meat. Oh, no. That's worse than poisoning your husband. Is that a goose? You're much better in this suit, even if it is not mine. The fisherman. Oh, we're here. The fisherman's quarter. I'm just wandering around. Hey, look at the piggy. Yeah. Um. I think we're going to the right side of town. Winds the bother you now, boy. Well, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh oh. Okay, we got a quest. Are you all right, sir? It'll come again. I will. I will die. What happened? The lower of death came to me last night. I know it will come again. Let's start from the beginning. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Could you describe last night's events for me? Uh, I'm Cole Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist, but then the spell broke. And I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider, but it was the lower of death, and it ain't finished with me. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many, and we call them lowers. And Mammon Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Mammon's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry, and my mouth was dry, and and the light became very bright. That is something. Hmm. Don't you hate when a bug starts crawling? One second. This guy's gonna pause. All right, sorry about that. A bug started crawling across my keyboard. It was just one of those like stink beetles, but yeah, I don't like him. So yeah, I have a feeling he was drugged. He has symptoms, blurred vision, dry mouth, and photophobia. So let's look into it. What did you eat last night? Supper leftovers. Oh, a candle. Oh, I know. It's not a simple tea. A herbal concoction, rather. Hmm. Black tea seems not to be very popular here. Oh, we got something. <gasps> no. Yeah, I think he was just eating at the moment, but I need more. Some chewing tobacco leaves. All right. He does the tobacco. With William in Shreveport, 1879. All right. Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. Cheap and strong brew. He dropped a cup here. Oh, wait. He dropped the cup. So, 
Maybe it was this thing. <gasps> Dropped a cup here. We're gonna need more info. This one is almost odorless. Interesting. It smells sweet. I will take it just in case. I would love to learn more about these. Mix in equal proportion. Goldenrod, strawberry leaves, jasmine flower. The healing properties of some herbs are truly amazing herbs. And some are extremely dangerous. Cold ground herbs here. Not yet, okay. No, sorry, I was trying to look at the uh, stuff over there. Are you a good fisherman, Cole? I wouldn't say so, sir. All right, let's look around. Oh, wait. We have a feathered friend in the case. The poor bird crashed against Cole's house. The damage is recent. Oh, did he mix something by accident and it tracks birds? At least the weather is on our side. That it be. Sir? All right. Your boat is wrecked. What happened? Well, I stumbled over a cypress root. You'd need some force to cause that damage. Yeah. And to be really down on your luck. I must ask you, did you have a drink last night? No, sir. I didn't take a sip. It all happened before I went to bed, and I only drink to fall asleep. That's just how it is lately. Okay. So definitely not that. He didn't have a chance to drink. <gasps> then over here, he dropped his mug. Why? <gasps> Maybe. dropped a cup here. It's cheap and strong brew. I hear Gata. Stop it. Oh, no two ways of body. Hopefully, we won't stumble upon the sheriff. I mean, I hope we do. I can beat his ass. We're missing something. All right, let's uh, let's see. Green leaves, a bunch of green leaves. One and a half to two and a half inches in diameter. When squeezed, it's possible to smell slight sour odor. Now, no offense here. Them two don't take kindly. Didn't to want kids. to come here yet. Especially foreigners. How 
How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on round these parts. Maybe. Maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sure. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time you pay. Wow, you're Thank actually you. generous. May have been one, two weeks ago. Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. It's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you know what. Thank you for the offer and the help. Hmm. Okay. My bad, that was a house, ended up being a boat. But, eh, you know, that works. Now let's talk about coal. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? No, first I'm out of it. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? What makes you think I can be of any help? Oh man, don't have to be so, you know. Yes, it really me oh. <laughs> May I ask for your assistance? I've heard about that. Let me tell oh. you. Cole's neighbors saw him that night, and when he left the house, they thought he was drunk. Cole was alone, though spirits were deserved. Okay. They thought he was drunk, but he swears he did not drink. I'm cursed, sir. There's nothing you can do about it. He dropped a cup here. Oh yeah, I might as well do this now. Um, nope, nope. Got it. Bravo, but me. A is for Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Of other things. There's more info somewhere. Gotta find it. Oh, right. I forgot. The game's like Holmes has a fear of water. Go too deep and you black. Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. I wouldn't be angry if you didn't know. Don't worry. Hmm. Oh, wait. Liam Sunshine Clayton for mass poisoning during the Christmas Swords. $600 and a Congressional Gold Medal. Wow, of all times during Christmas. Man deserves worse. There has... Nope. Oh, there's plants here, but nothing of any use. Chick, chick. I, oh, I hear you, Gator. Don't worry. May I ask for your assistance? No, I not heard about that. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Mm. There's a fallen cup near his bed. The dinner, leftovers, herbal... I only got two of these right now. He dropped a cup here.
No, I'm trying to look at the other table. Cheap. Some chewing tobacco. Some chewing tobacco leaves. When in doubt, you mash he dropped button a on the here. floor. Nope. There's nothing left in the house. Death is hanging over me. You're being loud. You mind keeping it down? Blood like a vampire without mourning. Voodoo, you voodoo, bitch. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Voodoo, you voodoo, bitch. Had your kids, had your wife, but eat outside. Oh man, Dead Island is a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. Perhaps when this is over, we can try the Louisiana cuisine. I always play as Sam B. Hmm. May I ask for your assistance? What am I missing? No, I not heard about that. Sorry. Where? Mm. Wait, maybe there's something on the ground? Yes. Feather. Not black, however. Did you really expect to find the feather of rock here? There are too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. Oh, wait. We got a new one. Sweet. Okay, I'm really glad I found those footprints. Yeah. Unsteady. He was unstable. Four boot prints here. Handprint crawled. alone the herbal decoction started to affect him he became dizzy and dropped the cup hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside he could have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water all right sir Cole I am sure that you were alone last night the lowers were not with you well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter. Look for a Veve sign, but watch what you see. He has the power of voodoo. 
I'll be careful. All right. That we already know where it is because I come across it twice while running, trying to find more info. <laughs> I keep forgetting if I'm stuck, literally look on the ground with my vision every, every time. Wow, he already knew. Dear Mr. Holmes, I knew that when you heard about voodoo, you would, you would meet, uh, you would be immediately skeptical. This world is not what it seems. I find strange that in your journey you are still in disbelief. I'm sorry that I won't be there when you come for me. I would love to open your eyes. I presume you wanted to ask me about the recipe you found in Cole's house. Knowing of his tragedy, I told him to brew an infusion of these herbs. The effects of the infusion are solace and mollification. Mollif if you don't believe me, read this book. There are answers that you seek. May the spirits be with you, Mr. Holmes. Samdi. Yes, after you find what you are seeking, please return the tome. Some books can do bad things if they fall into the wrong hands. Alright. So we got the book. A thick old book filled with notes and rites, spirits, and symbols. A significant part of this book is devoted to various herbs that their descriptions and their properties. Okay. Well, this is an interesting one. You didn't actually see any Loas, he just was high. Drugged. Al hallucinogen. Death is hanging over me. Am I... Oh, no. Do you know anything about this? I'm bone tired. But yeah, I'll help you. The locals seem to respect Samdi, despite him being a little strange. He helps people with their health problems and can give advice, resolve disputes, and can also remove slander and hexes. The voodooist. Hmm. I mean, as long as you don't get on the bad side of a voodooist, they can be quite helpful. What am I doing with the book? The locals seem to respect them. Okay. Oh, wait. Search this in the archives. Oh, 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 okay. A uh, bunch of green. Okay, it's green. Squeeze sour odor. All right. It's about. Okay, okay, okay. It's about half to two. One and a half to two inches in diameter. Slightly sour odor and green. One and a half to two inches. Right, slightly sour, and it's green. Strawberry leaves are an effective remedy to improve appetite and normalize digestive process. Teas and infusions with strawberry leaves have a positive effect on the work of the heart. Help lower blood pressure. They have a mild... Oh man, I need to drink some strawberries. Yellow flowers, pointed leaves. A plant with alternate elliptical pointed leaves, narrowed in the winged uh, yellow flowers, less than a diameter than an inch. All right, less than an inch. I immediately forgot. Oh, well, I don't want to talk about it. It's on the left side, you fool. Less than an inch. The leaf forms and pointed leaves or narrowed up. There you go. They don't have a smell. They are yellow. Goldenrod. Uh, Goldenrod has strong uh, indigestion. Uh, 
and TN4. Okay. And now the next one. About four to six. Um. Trumpet shape. Nope. But it has a sweet odor. And they're white. Jimin's weed, also known as a devil snare, is a potent poisonous plant. In case of poisoning, Jimson weed causes dry mouth, speech, and swallowing disorders, dilated pupils, impaired near vision, fear of light, del delirium hallucinations, and agitation. Ah. Let's put the book back. He poisoned himself with Devil's Snare. The other two were fine. Honestly, strawberry leaves sound the best. Sir? Cole, where are these herbs from? I bought them from Zora. Her stall is at the market near the port. At the market near the port. Nope. Uh, let me see. So, I want to... At the market near the port. Alright, this is the port. Now I need to find the market. Oh, wait. Missing. Sun Tao 34, let's see in Chinatown. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. More people missing here too. I wasn't even trying to do that. I thought it was a wanted poster. Oh, that's nice then. Is this the market? Oh, wait. Yeah, I bet Zoro will kill. Did you see Ashley rush there? Strawberry leaves. Fisa. Tobacco leaves. Yeah, I'm leaf. afraid for them Chinese and for anyone who messes with them. Dried goldenrod. Yeah. They're not selling the devil's snare. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Zora went to Chinatown Market. She was wanting to start a fight with another herb merchant there. Zora is known for her quarrelsome temper. However, for the last few days, she has been unusually aggressive. So she's in Chinatown. All right, let's go find her. Ah, oh, these herbs fresh. And you dare call my products substandard. I found her. May I ask you something? I'm sorry, you should search for answers somewhere else. Excuse me, are you Zora? I am. What do you want? My you name is Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. I have several questions, if you don't mind. I came here because Cole Seabrook mentioned you. Do you know him? Unfortunately, yeah. He's my late husband's brother. You poisoned him on purpose. <laughs> You are selling herbs, is that right? Do you want to buy something? Not really. I wanted to ask if you have the herbs from this list. Goldenrod, jasmine, strawberry. These are very oh. common. I do sell them same as any other herb merchant. Okay, uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, she sold that in... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She tried to poison him. Have you heard of jimson weed? A poisonous plant, but it can help ease the pain if you know how to use it. Some believe you can use it to create a zombie, a willless life. Is that what you wanted for Cole? Or did you sell it accidentally? Did Cole get what he deserved? <laughs> the lowest heard my prayers. So you admit it was on purpose? I admit there's a higher power maintaining order and justice in this world, and Cole got oh, he's what alive. he deserved. I'm happy that it happened, but that doesn't mean I'm to blame. Can I ask what caused such hatred? The sheriff confiscated all our weapons, and then the disappearance began. William wanted one rifle, just one to protect us. Cole was too eager to help, and as a result, my will got a bullet in his chest. 
How did Cole explain what took place? He just walked away as if nothing happened. Cole is the reason I lost my husband, and he should pay for it. Don't you want to know what really happened? For me, it's clear. An innocent man would tell everything. Only the guilty remain silent. He has the picture. He still has the picture. My day was no bowl of cherries, but you've ruined it completely. My bad. At least I'm not trying to poison the guy. Hey, man. Sir? I've learned about your tragedy, Cole. My condolences. Zora told you, didn't she? Can you tell me what happened and why you feel guilty? My brother died. I'm alive, and William is not. That's why. Did you see who shot him? It was the bloody sheriff. I swear I saw him smiling. Tell me, what was the plan? William had to get into the warehouse through the eastern gate, the one not far from the market on the edge of the railroad. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. So what went wrong? William went in, then came back with a rifle. I saw him jump off the crate, and then bang! He was lying there dead. What happened next? My heart stopped. I froze. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. I ran away. I had just one task and I failed it. And for my mistake, the lower of death will come for me. Eastern gates of a warehouse near the market. At the corner of the closest railroad, Cole was hiding behind the barrels. Oh man, this one is going places. I thought it'd be a quick one after we figured out he was getting poisoned. Nope. Okay. Near the railroad, behind barrels, near the warehouse. Um. Weird walk animation that guy had there for a second. New Orleans Police Department. Would not want to go there, especially with the sheriff, who is a dick. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. I am so angry. I am going to come back and get you. Um, maybe it's the other way. It's near the... Corner closest to the railroad. Pulls height. Looking for a warehouse. Yeah, other way. That's the railroad. That's the trolley car. You damn poo. Ooh, got anything? Nope, no wanna posters. That looks like a warehouse. That looks like a warehouse. There we go. Not that, that is the boat house. Alright, he hid near the warehouse eastern gate. According to Cole, it all started somewhere near the barrels. Alright, let's find barrels. Ah. Oh. Chewed leaves, tobacco. Chewed tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. Is that where his brother jumped down? Handprint oil. An oily handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. So he jumped down. And now we're looking for... Oh, hello. It went right through. William was shot here. I saw him drop off the crane and then bang. 
He was lying there dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and mass, I would say the shooter was no more than 35 or 40 feet away. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. Yeah. It's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, See if there are more rats! And I woke up. And what did Cole do? He ran away. My heart stopped. I froze. And then I ran away. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserved it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. Yeah, that's just a series of unfortunate events. He hid in the worst place possible because the killer was literally right there and you can be able to see him. Now, if he hid like here or even up farther, maybe, but not there. Not there. All right, she's in Chinatown. The crazy one is gone. Look for her somewhere else. Back at her shop, or is she gonna just yell at him now? Nope, he's fine. Okay, we're good. I was worried that she'd be all up in his face going crazy. Alright, so she'll be back at her market probably. Grab a drink after this. I'm getting dry mouth. <laughs> hey. Oh what do you want? I know you are angry at Cole, but you must know that he is not guilty of your husband's death. I was at the warehouse and I saw it all myself. The sheriff shot William and Cole couldn't prevent it, not even at the cost of his life. Why did Cole survive then? And how did he return unwounded? He had no chance of stopping the sheriff, but he found himself unnoticed. All he could do was run or die. That jackal sheriff. Perhaps you're right. I didn't want to kill Cole. It's just too painful to know that he's still around while my will's dead. You can mourn with Cole. Forgive him if you can. I'll need some time for that. Yeah. All right, now let's go and fuck the cold. Hey, I have news. Sir? I have good news. No lowers are coming for you. You were poisoned. Wh what? Zora sold you Jimson weed instead of Jasmine. That was the cause of your hallucination. She wanted revenge. It, it doesn't change anything. Look, the lowers were guiding her. I deserved it. I went to the warehouse, and I know what happened. You are not guilty of William's death. You had no chance of stopping the sheriff. Your only choice was to run or die. That was my purpose as a brother. But I fear William. I'm a coward. I ruined two lives in one evening, including Zora's. I spoke with Zora, and she forgives you. Now is the time to forgive yourself. You. I. Thank you, sir. I'll try. As much as I like that quest at the end of the mustache was moving, it did not want to behave. All right, that's done. I mean, all right. I think it's time. Find a taxi and get out of here. Book this way for that. It's probably just to go to the Harbor Masters. <laughs> there's no one on that one, but there's one over here. Just 
gonna do a quick corner uh, look around to see if there's any more wanted posters. There probably are. There probably are. Oh. Is there an achievement for it? Let me see before I go. Um. <laughs> I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think there is. So I think we can move on. I think you only pick those up for detection points, which I have unlocked a lot of things, but I can't change my clothing. Let's go. Got a spot in mind. I do. French quarter and get us there fast. Wait, that's chapter four? That's a short chapter. Holy cow. Um, so yeah, chapter four, short. Sure. Well, also, I gotta remember last time. Um, let me check how long that one is. Because last time I did cut it off last night because I got tired. So let me see how long that one was. Seven minutes. Yeah, no, we're gonna continue. Let me grab a drink. I am getting dry mouth right now. Hey, yo, I'm back. I got. All right, let's see what awaits me here. Yeah, chapter four, very short. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I, I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and some of my lowest moments. Do you know anything about this? I'm bone tired, but yeah. I help you. Locals say Mr. Arnens Arnenson's mansion has a large gate adorned with bison. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a hole there. No, no bison. Let's just run around and see what there is. Oh, you're playing good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh. No, the, the gate literally has bisons. Alright, let's go. Alright. I'm not used to this warmth and humidity. Hopefully our Arneson has a shady garden. Arneson? Lord, help me. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's he's pure and kind. Fear not. We will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See... I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. Okay. Chapter five, the horror at the door. Arnenson's mansion. <laughs> All right, we're on the case. Oh wait, what happened to Davy? Well, we can't do anything with that yet, really. Hey, 
Yay, we can finally do costumes. Let's see what we got. Royal garments. Uh, nurse disguise. Stylish suit. Sailor uniform. And bohemian. Nope. We're putting plague doctor back on. With... No, no, yes, yes, and Watson, I absolutely love your English outfit, or American, I should say. There we go. Strong, locked from inside. Oiled, traces of mud often used. I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Along with all our clothes, books, tea. Steel, sturdy, intact. Hmm. You're not making this easy for me to break in. This is where the key would be hidden, right? Yeah, that's probably where the key would be. Oh, broken sterns, chipped edges. This must be the key to the stables. Ah. Okay, okay. Oh. The animal has been suffering for days. It's dehydrated, Holmes. Without water, it will die. Oh, dear. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. Cayenne pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. Hmm. Not gonna lie, this jacket looks a bit too heavy for this weather. So let's, uh... There we go. All right, let's start looking around. This might be useful. Oh, give the, let's give the horse water. Wait, is that blood? That might be blood. But first things first, horsey. At least that's one life saved. Oh, it's poor, poor horse. Look at all the feces behind it. Come on, drink, drink. There we go. Oh, you poor little thing. All right. I mean, it's probably still starving, but water is more important than food. We're about to enter Song of Horror territory. Also, hi, miss. We're on the other side of the gate. You did it. You're inside? Have you seen Davy? Not yet, miss, but we are on it. Please look for my little brother. All right, we'll do outside search first. Though I got a feeling the front door is not going to open. Everything is quiet. Something happened here. Oh. Never mind. Gondola. That's what they're called. Root almost ripped out. And handprints, the footprints, blood. Hello. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. Large wound waited a while. Yeah. 
There's gators. Hmm, I have no idea what happened yet. No guesses. And now I'm in a full circle outside. I'm going to go inside. Let's see the horrors that await me. Oh. Hmm. No way in. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm not doing that. Hmm. No way in. At this point, break the front door down. Is that window? Wait. Oh, window's down. Window's down. Orange tree. No. No. I'm paying attention to the windows mostly. Ah! Uh, do you smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything. Ooh. Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. I can tell you how she died. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. Oh, jeez. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. Extremely sharp and deadly. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. What horrors happened here? That is the question. T for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. A used kitchen towel. Hey. I'm not ready to put together the crime scene yet. This place sets my teeth on edge, Holmes. Today started poorly and went downhill from there. There is so much to put together. Oh, God. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Oh. Oh dear. Trail of dust, blood droplets. A few drops of blood, but not from a mortal wound. Oh, wait, so what happened here? The guy was injured and started tracking it. Size 10. Walking, walking, walking. I'm not ready to put it together yet. Not yet. Came in here, knocked things over. We'll check everything else after. Interesting. Wait. Circular wax droplets. He was barefoot. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. The candle was burning when it fell. A trail of wax leads to the door. Symbol. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Match. Oh, oh dear, I see it. The bent end of this candlestick has blood they on it. They use it as a weapon. He whacked them with it. Did he go mad? I will need your help one more time, Doctor.
A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. A machete? The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. Yes, yeah, so they've been dead for days. And then hay on the pants. Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. Yeah. His corneas are already clouded. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. That is true. We're gonna put everything together. Mr. Arneson with his prey. Ooh. Well, we're gonna put all of it together after. I want all the clues first. Burnt note about telegram. I've intercepted a strange telegram sent to Ashman. It is utterly cryptic and I cannot make heads or tails or heads nor tails of it. The mailman confirmed the telegram is definitely for Ashmat, so he must know what it means. The rest of the note is unreadable. Burnt papers, now completely unreadable. So they threw a bunch of papers in the fire, or the person, the man who killed them did. Why? We need to go upstairs. Oh wait, letter from Lockman, Mr. Arnenson. I'm happy to know that you like the work carried out in your study room. It was a challenging job and the most difficult I've done. The lock was handmade to create the mechanism in your accordance with your requirements, my bad. I had a magnetic bezel that must be activated to open the lock. As requested, it is hard to see the keyhole if you don't know where to look. Tell your friends about me. Thank you. JG Lock. That's going to be important. Oh, this one's open. I actually was not expecting to open this door. All right. Bang. Let's see what we got. Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son than a servant. Oh, that's nice. Arneson and Davy, 1881. He's reading about raccoons. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. Dear Errol, I do want you to find what you are looking for, but I can't deny that my misgivings are growing with each passing day. I fear the worst. I am worried about you, about what you are doing. My heart stops when I think about where you look for your answers. I wouldn't get I would have given them to you. I would have given anything so you might stop disappearing. Errol, please, you must stop. We have something beautiful together. Isn't that enough? I hope to hear from you soon. I love you. Hell. Letter from L. Well, there's no one dead in here, so what can we do in here? Nothing. Makes sense. There's really not much going on in here. I l man, that's a really nice wall, actually. I actually really like this room in a way. Oh, wait. Note the blade, Watson. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. Oh. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. There are so many things downstairs going on. Let me 
still have another room to go and people ping me on the discord what's up all right my friend was moving today good for him No one dead in this room either. What I wouldn't give for a nice bath right now, Holmes. There might not be anything in the bathroom at the moment. It looks empty. All right. Yep. There's nothing in the bathroom. I am looking across the hall. Maybe. All right. We got cigars. He clearly smokes. Then we got a letter. Claire from Lakafka, my dear friend, the boy is a genius. Despite seeing a fraction of my formula, he recreated it and solved it. it. Is the function that young students have serious trouble with? Your Davy is a prodigy. What surprises me even more is that when I ask him any question, the boy writes answers that are your direct quotes of or mine. His memory is impeccable. I know you took our, the boy under your wing to take care of him, but I'm asking you to let me hold some lessons with him. I truly believe the boy, uh, believe that with your help, this boy can shine and change the world. Kafka. That could be L. Kafka. Louisiana wetlands. A dull book about local geology. Even I'd struggle. But yeah, the boy is a genius, but he cannot fall. Dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson. All right, don't think there's anything else here. On top of that, I don't see a kid yet. Remember, there's that locked door. I guess it's time to start putting pieces together because I technically. Oh, wait, no, I can't yet. in those rooms. I got a feeling there's really important things, but let's start slowly putting things together, shall we? So he's entered from here. This is going to be important. So let's see. No, you have to be bleeding. No, you have to have a curved knife. No. No. Yes. There we go. But no candle. He took the candle elsewhere. Next. No. No, I don't have enough info there. What we have? We did not see strangulation. No. Wait. Um, what's the difference between these two? Oh. That's wrong. What happened here? Wrong. Wrong. Yes.
No. I think I'm getting things in order. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. I am trying, Watson. It's two servants were having tea. A man barged in, completely wrecked them. It's in the shape of an A. <laughs> the problem is now we need the key for that. How to learn the content of the bird messages. Second, okay. Secret lock. Uh, no. That sounds good. I am. What happened to Davy? I can't answer that. How can the painting lock be open? We got this. No, no. Door with the horse symbol. Hodo. No. Wait. one piece of evidence that suck how can we learn the contents of the message yeah the boy though the boy the boy is a genius. I doubt Flair from Al. Yeah, I don't have enough. Everything is on the verge. What happened to Davy? Crime scene. We got one. Yeah, I'm missing info. Yeah, let me go back to the pier. There might be more there. Hey, miss. Sorry, you've been dead for five days. Okay. Right, wait, wait, wait. We got footprints. Someone went this way? Right, let's go here and see what happens. Because we're not done with the backyard, I don't believe. 
There's way too much back here to give up. No sign of a boat. Yeah. Hey, Watson. Okay. Let's follow this. Because then there's footprints. Starting here. person went inside there's blood here yes but then these shoes are different these are bigger shoes and they go like this way I would be like, lady, get the local authorities, but then I'm like, oh right, local authorities suck, don't do that. Hey ma'am, just ignore me, I'm doing uh, investigation stuff, I'm pretty sure your brother's okay. Maybe, no problems. I'm not seeing any footprints other than back and forth. What else I could be doing here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Luxurious shoes, size nine. Okay. <laughs> These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke. But I don't see the thumb or middle finger. Wait, there are fingers there? Oh. Look, Watson. Animal prints. I wonder what kind. Raccoon. Why? Because he had a book on raccoons. Boots. Size 10. info does that give me oh well we know what this is it's gonna be a one second i can easily do this it's a mammal it is in uh, it is five to ten pounds its habitat is there was uh, fairly shallow it's around 12 pounds vermin mammal And then turn them in the bite marks. Nope. Raccoons. The increasing number of raccoons in urban areas has provoked uh, diverse reactions in humans. There's an animal near the severed fingers. There are raccoons. Well, 
What's that do for me? Close proximity to humans result in behavior changes how raccoons live in their people from any genre. Raccoons usually do not prey on domestic cats, dogs to protect your house. Yeah, okay. Definitely not. Um... <sighs> oh, I tripped on a log. Yeah, I knew those were raccoons immediately because that book was turned to the page of raccoons. Mm, there's still more in the backyard. Uh, maybe the front, the back door, because the back door has a bunch of dirt on it. Because, yeah, there's only footprints here. And that's it. But then the fr the door itself has issues. Nope. Back out. We're not done here yet. There's blood here. Yes, there's blood here. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Oh wait! Oh, we didn't do that one yet. Size 10, the owner's footprints were shallow. Size 10, the heels were sinking into the ground. Look here, Doctor. Two sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Precisely. We'll make a detective of you yet, Watson. More boot prints. More boot prints. All right, I think we're getting there. We already did that. And then we got the blood. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. They wrap something in a bag like cloth for a reason. Oh, we're done with the backyard now. Oh, I'm continuing something I don't need to continue. Back inside we go. So yeah, he wraps something or someone and tossed them in the crocs got them. All right, we're done out here. with this yeah he walks okay do you need the candlestick i feel like you're not coming in with a candlestick i'm gonna leave it like that for now let me see how to open you no Nothing else. Wait. No. Okay. Wait. 
Man, we really don't have much at the moment. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. Two dead servants. I'm just gonna rub myself against everything. We already did tea. Yeah, we already did tea. And I think I'm happy with that one. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Watson, I am trying. Oh. Jeez, that threw me over there. Yeah, those are both locked. I need something I need upstairs. Hmm. You, there's something special about you. I already got all the info from you. No, no, no. no. Then you got the lock right there. But wait, anything on the ground in here? No, nothing of importance at the moment. He never came upstairs by a bit. He just stayed on stairs, killed those two. I'm not seeing anything. Watson, do you see anything? I could use a different set of eyes. No. Oh, wait. That is peculiar. Why is that drawer pulled out? I just got hit with something. A raccoon was there, correct? Yes, okay. That says raccoons sleep in dead logs. I gotta find where the raccoon's nest is. I gotta find the raccoon nest. Where does the raccoon live? Trying to find the uh, thing the raccoon probably lives in. Get over there. Yeah, raccoons typically nest inside tree cavities, fallen dead logs, or other secure ice places. If my guess is correct, and that a person got thrown in a blanket over. The raccoon picked something up. That is my one hope right now. The raccoon. Hey, wait, can I tell you anything? Sir, if you find Davy, please come tell me. Yeah, not yet. I don't blame him because the moment you run and say, hey. The barn? Hey, look, he's live. Cayenne Pepper. No, we already looked at you. Cayenne Pepper. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. The leaves are coming through the door. 
Hey, horsey. Alright, not that. Honestly, open up the back and let the horse out. But yeah, there's blood out here, so whatever happened started here. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Watson, I am trying. It's happening, okay? Look for dead decaying trees where raccoons would probably sleep in. I see none. <sighs> Maybe it was the raccoon who broke in. <gasps> no. Nah. More boot prints. This is the only spot that has raccoon markings. I'll give up on this search soon, don't worry. Oh, hello. What's that out there? All right, all right. Don't walk in the water, Watson. That's a death trap. Wait, really? That was too much for you? I want... Oh. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. No, 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 Watson. I am trying. We need more info. Where's the rest of that info? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Door the bell symbol is locked. Dead man, gardener groom, deep wound chest, she sniffing blow, two people sitting drinking, it's dirty rooms, the first floor, painting, there's interesting lock on the surface. Problem is I can't do anything else past that. This is gonna be very stupid, but yeah, here we go. Why does it look so familiar? Why does it look so familiar? The sooner we get what we need, oh, the mind. sooner we can leave this horrible place. Hmm. I don't know, Watson. Like this is wrong. That is wrong. It is not that. this door. The sooner we get what we need, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Yeah, yeah. Mm.
Alright. Alright. I think I was stupid. I think the last piece of evidence is this. Oh, it lied to me. So I examined both sides of the painting. Seems I am stuck. I'm missing a room. Uh, okay. It was literally right here. Right here. <sighs> That's not what happened. You had to get hit. Oh, I see the difference now. The weapon in the other hand. All right. Oh, I messed up. All right, where did I me left mess up? Not there. Oh. No. Okay. You're walking in with your knife. Here you pick up the candlestick from in that room. You hit the guy in the head while you're holding your knife. He topples over. He gets stabbed in the chest. And then she gets the machete thrown at her. Is it not this? Nope. All right, it is them drinking. Let me see. So it goes. No. But actually. No. You didn't have a hatchet. Stop it. Okay. The machete was thrown. That is correct. I refuse to think anything but this is correct, but maybe he did come in with a candlestick. Candlestick and a knife. No. Previous for now, until I look at the others. No, that's correct. I refuse to think of anything else but that. You? Oh! The kid knocked it down. Nope, never mind. Next. No. To be the machete? No, okay. Mm. Give me a second. Yeah, because the machete's next to her and it has blood. So the machete was thrown at her. So this is correct. This feels like it's the only thing, maybe, but no. It has to be the two of them were getting tea, and then everything went to shit. 
What am I doing wrong? Hmm. Alright. But it makes no sense to come to the candlestick right now. You just came in from the outside. Because you get the candlestick from this room. Then there, he has the knife, he hits him. No. You definitely got hit, didn't you? No, no, yeah, he definitely got hit. He got hurt, they're saying, he, yeah, because there's blood there. No. He got knocked out. You just got stabbed. You are dead. What others do we have? Oh yeah, right, it's the knife for the machete. How big was the wound again? No, he had the knife the entire time. But then here... She wasn't choked, was she? That man, okay, you have fire. Okay, inside the kitchen, she was killed by the blow of significant. She resisted. This is correct. She resisted. She didn't immediately die. We want this. She's resisting. Okay, 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 okay. This might be correct now. That seems correct. Um, parlor, a dead man, deep. Yeah, so that is correct. Uh, you had to be knocked out. Or it could be this and he just knocked his head on the table. Validate? No. Maybe that's supposed to be the kit. Wait. Oh, there's two candlesticks. An intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden. Ooh, that took a while. Oh. Where is he? I can tell you, um... Yeah, no, no, that makes sense anyways. All right. What happened to Davy? The horrors in the mansion and the door with the horse symbol because it was right behind him. He's in there. He's behind that door. But now we need to figure out how to open the lock. The horrors of the mansion? 
Yeah, it doesn't make sense, does it? Severed fingers? Backyard. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, can I talk to her? Lady, I'm coming. I have info about your brother. Because there's a talk symbol, so I'm gonna get up to talk to her and be like, Hey, your brother, uh, about these things. And she'll be like, Ah, oh, yes, my brother. He has a knack for this. And, uh, yeah. Not there. Did she go into the stable and wait for me? What she says. She's alive, her head's moving. Watson, how is she? Oh, I am Watson, never mind. Ligature marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. Okay, she's alive. Did she try to kill herself? Note with threats. Do you think that this in this city, the life of the English detective is worth more than that of the maid servant? Oh, God, no, the sheriff killed almost... Doctor, Watson, speak to me. How is she? Oh... We were just in time, Holmes. Eula is stable, but lucky to be alive. We should take her to a hospital for a further examination. Yes. I fear I was wrong, Watson. The sheriff is not a man to be underestimated. To lynch an innocent woman just to send a message, it's evil. We're not safe in this city, her nor shoes. is anyone around us. Then we must not dawdle. Help me get Eula to her feet. No, no. I will not leave here without Davy. Miss, please, we must get you help. No, I will not be deterred. I will get my brother and bring him home. Oh, she has spirit. If my deductions are correct, Davy lies behind this door. He ought to be unhurt, but is no doubt shaken. Davy, Davy, you there? Davy, we understand what you witnessed before. It's safe now. You're safe. Please, let us in. Your sister wants to see you. Everything will be all right. I promise. Yeah, them gentlemen speak the truth. Just, just open the door. Big sister's here for you. Davy, oh, come here, you! Thanks, sir. Oh, he's Lord gonna need water. He's been there for five days. Let me examine him, miss. I want to make sure he is unharmed. He is a doctor. Remember, he may be mute, but he still understands you. Get him some water, please, and food. Uh, well, there's a bowl over there, so maybe he had water this entire time, I hope. All right, let's observe. Hasn't slept for days. Oof. Alarmed and agitated. Chap lips. Starving in shock. Yeah, no, he's not doing well. Days old. Insignificant. Bruise. Old clothes or active. No, he cared for Davy. Davey has left Star for the last five days, barricaded inside the room for fear for his life. Fortunately, he is physically unharmed. Davey had a good life as a child in this mansion. He has a fresh bruise from a fall or bump, the torn pocket is a result of his active lifestyle. Um... I left malnourished and starving for the last five days. However, Davey hasn't been treated- I think he's cared. Davy seems in good health. The bruise is a remnant of that awful night, perhaps even caused by the intruder, but he is otherwise unharmed. In fact, I believe life here was good for the boy. Arneson and the others cared for Davy. That may have allowed him to withstand such horrors. I need your help, Davy. We know that the man with the curved dagger is responsible for all this. You recognized the man, yes? The same one in the photograph in the office upstairs, standing with Arneson. 
Yep. Good. Please write his name. And one last thing. The room with an image of a bell on its door may hold important answers. Do you know a way in? Okay, he's writing. Yes. I think I've got it. You have been very helpful, Davy. One key downstairs, two key upstairs. Note with threats. Ugh. All right. Oh, Davy, things you must have gone through. Davy is calm and collected despite enduring all these horrors. An impressive young man. Very. Um. Just gonna. Angels, sirs. All y'all lacking is a pair of wings. Ashma has a key which goes. Alright. Chimney? Well, they tried. He tried. Mr. Arneson with his prey. How can the painting lock be opened? The backyard isn't... maybe? No. I'm still gonna keep just doing that. No, it's useless. Oh, wait. Where is Arneson currently? No. Letter from hell. Black from locksmith. No. Burn. He clearly was taken by Ashmont. I believe we all can agree with that. I think the note with Brett's is going to come into play here. Let's go. So there's something downstairs. I wish all this would go away now, because that is no longer of use. Let's go in here again. So, Ashmont is the killer. He downstairs, you go upstairs. And there's two keys. So downstairs, there's a key somewhere. Let me go to the here, which I'm now suspecting the guy was knocked out. He was uh, uh, thrown in a boat. They kidnapped. Yeah, they kidnapped him and that was ripped off his jacket or something. They tied him up. No sign of a boat. And off they went. Alright, there's nothing outside. It's not that the sheriff is being a dick. He said tomorrow. He didn't say today. He's going back on his word. Now again, I doubt his word's worth anything. What time is it? Hmm. About that time, we'll have to go soon and uh, 
do that. How about we must stop this, Holmes. All of these atrocities. I, I am trying. Be downstairs. What do we have for the brainwave? Contents of the burnt message isn't going to happen. Learn that's not going to help at the moment. We need one more. The secret lock and the letter from the locksmith. But we need one more piece of evidence. <sighs> no. Damn. Um, yeah, there's nothing more useful here. Let's just go upstairs and look at the lock, I guess. Davey, I wish you wrote a more specific note, not gonna lie. still have to find Arneson. After all we have learnt, I fear for his fate. He's alive. He got knocked out with a candlestick. Problem is, is what do they want him for? Aha! Uh -huh. No keys in the pot. Wet soil. To something, maybe. The drawer's open. Nothing of interest. Oh, okay. Personally, I'm interested in that, but okay. And then there. Oh, wait. Let's take a closer look. Is it 18? Eighteen seventy-nine? Because they really want to point the date out. No. I'm sad now. Very sad. Is it going to be photo of hunters from 1882? 18. Oh, wrong way. 80. Two? No. It's gonna be the date of one of the portraits. Um, no date there. 1862. Got it. We got keys. These should come in handy. Oh, look at all those $10 bills. Double barrel shotgun, 10 gauge Reaper, M142, additional services, engravings on buttstock, engravings on grip, engravings on safety catch, and extractor. Total price $79.99. Sounds like a steal for nowadays. Alright, we have keys. We have keys. Go, 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 go. I guess we're doing two chapters in this episode. That one chapter was short. I think we're nearing the end of this one now. Not much here. Wait. The grooves for friction that was moved. Dense and disturbing notes. It's hard to follow. The scene is impossible, unnatural, but also familiar. Interesting. Whatever the price, pay it. Obsidian, glass like stone, black. Without it, we can't work with lenses. 
London comes to New Orleans, must be five, six days. You know what to do with the deliveries are. A foreigner's clothes, by the looks of things from the Near East. Just like that, hidden hatch. There's an opal. Oops, uh, oh, wow, it looks beautiful. A black opal, cut and polished, easy to sell. Ooh, do we want to open it? Collection of notes with instructions. Reach your goal, fall death messengers. Then pass through fire without fear. In the bleeding willow, chase the crows, avoid any crosses that appear. Nothing new here. See? Got a new one, I'm just gonna try. Collection of notes with instructions. Instructions. Yeah, no. Telegram from R. No. I'm not sure what this has a foreigner's crates by the looks of things from the near east okay who keeps pinging me on the discord oh that's a nice view from his little house nice good for him can i open that no 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 not that there's a little chest can i open can i open this no okay damn still nowhere It's telling me I have enough. Telegram from R. No. Liar from L. And raccoons, because... No, doesn't help. Okay, um... How can the paintings lock be open? No. I'm just gonna go through everything. Get ready. Fingers. The fingers. Finally. Chapter 13. Raccoons. A raccoon took it. A local denizen, a raccoon, took the signet ring along with Mr. Anderson's finger. Alright, time to go find the raccoon. Finally, I knew the raccoon was going to come up sooner or later. Hey, you. We gotta find a raccoon. Oh, wait. This way. Wait. Covered in pepper. Too much for a raccoon. So the raccoon went this way. Oh, it's pepper. It's not blood. I mean, there's an apple or orange. Another. All right. Oh, so that's supposed to be 
pepper. Cayenne pepper. I'm looking for raccoon footprints. And they are pinging their way right now. Hmm. Alright. So, we start here. Must be getting a package today. Third truck. Alright. Okay. We're on a roll. Arneson's signet ring, as we saw in his portrait. Yep. I knew at some point we're tracking a raccoon. I knew it. Alright, I'm on a roll right now. I'm just going. We have the signet ring. We'll mark it. And... Let's see what happens. Before the sheriff comes back. Oh, there's the shotgun. It's almost a piece of art. That is a really nice looking shotgun. Wait, what do we have? Mr. Arnson has a collection of notes detailing his investigation of Ashman. One of them reads, that damn servant, how dare he use my name to sell opals at the bank? Was he like that all the time I overlooked it, or is it the influence of his foreign friends? I need to learn more about the man, especially after I showed Davy that cryptic telegram sent to Ashman. What was it for? Ah, so he wasn't selling the opals. It's the one ring to rule them all. My precious, my love, my heart. My princess, my, my love, my heart. Fitting words. My precious. Whoops. Wrong game. Oh. I got a bottle of champagne. Engagement ring. A bottle of champagne. Grandifying champagne. Oh, I know who I'm giving that to. How are we going to learn? Nope. This. Davy might hold the information. All right, we'll mark you. We'll do that later. Crumple piece of paper. I mean, why not? My dearest Lucy, my sunshine, believe me, as soon as I've dealt with the darkness that lurks in these swamps, I'll return to you with an open heart. Be sure that I am ready to declare to all the world my feelings for you. I can't wait to hold your hand and be lost in your beautiful eyes. Completely and forever yours, Errol. Words he never got a chance to say. Well, isn't that interesting? Hello again, Lucy. Mr. Anderson, as soon as your instructions arrive, we start our investigation. Rest assured, we will do our best to find a location in the bayou that you mentioned. However, we must inform you that there might be some delays in the coming weeks as our investigator, the lead detective in this case, is in Europe. Meanwhile, we highly recommend securing your findings until further notice beneath a table in a safe or a locked cabinet, anything will work. Yeah, that guy's dead. I'm taking over now. We must put an end to all this evil, and I doubt we can count on the sheriff's help. Ha! <laughs> Absolutely not. Lucy might have something to do with it. Maybe. No, she begged him to stop. What time is it? Who's getting there in time? All right. Hey, Davy. Davy, 
We know that Ashmat is responsible for what happened here. We must catch him and hold him accountable. I know that you are scared, but you are also the only one who can help us. I believe Mr. Arneson showed you a cryptic telegram that was sent to Ashmat. You are an impressive boy with a phenomenal memory. Can you tell us the contents of that message? Oh. Thank you, Davy. Watson, please copy down everything he writes. A cryptic me message directed to Ashmat says, When the storm starts or the ship fall, at Stevenson's guiding light, the last embrace of all the chosen. Interesting. So, that means, where was he taken? He was taken. Oh, God. Oh. oh. You know, I got way too excited over that. Really? It's pulsating, which means I can solve it. So let's do it. All right. Uh, how many greens do we have? That... No, but that... No. 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 Burnt no letter from L. Note with threats, cryptic message, love letter. We know where to go. We're done here. But, due to the time, I will momentarily end it here, but I will continue, because I think, depending on how it is, uh, the chapter is about to end. We'll see, but I have to go do stuff, so I'll pick this up later. Alright, let's finish this up. Let's deliver this letter, which... French Quarter. Got a spot in mind. Yeah, let's go. New Orleans Port, and quickly. Yeah, I see Lucy Innocent slaughtered, a woman lynched, a boy forever traumatized. I fear we've crossed the Rubicon, Holmes. Davy is resilient, much like Eula. They will overcome this. You're right, but I worry this portends far worse for us. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? I don't know. I really don't know. There's slave trade, definitely, but I don't know what it's all leading to. Who's your friend, Frank? We love a new face, and this is particularly lovely. Um... At least the weather is on our side. Help me, please. You better ask someone else about that. Much for that. May I ask for your assistance? No, I've never heard of it. But I can help you with something else. Oh, ma. Eh. Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, I've never heard of it, but I can help you with something else. Well, sadly, it's a video game, and no, I will pass anyways. Um, you. Could you help me? I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't help you. No, 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 no. Can you satisfy <laughs> my curiosity? Can't say I've heard about that. Are you able to help me? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Interesting. Give me a second. Can't wait. Bayou, 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 bayou. We have the champagne. Remember, champagne like champagne. Are you able to help me? No, I not heard about that. Sorry. 
All right, let's go. Champagne, I got champagne for you. Why wait, uh, how are you doing, man? Oh, he's not in there. Maybe he's doing something. Careful. Nolans may look welcoming, but not ever smile as friendly. Uh, no. All right, we're not ready with that yet. You can look at my dogs, but don't touch them. Damn it. Um, maybe I teleported too early. Is this familiar to you? No, first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, just one question. What makes you think I can be of any use? I might have teleported too early. Back to the harbor master. Oh, wait. Back to the harbor master. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might help me better. Mm. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't help you. New stand is spelt kind of wrong. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. All right. Yeah, I think I screwed up by coming here too early. All right, let's find a cab. Unless I'm supposed to be here. If I can't find a cab driver, then let's see. Oh, wait. Nope. May I ask for your assistance? No, I've not heard about that, sorry. Damn it. Also, man, they have a lot of voices for all the locals. That's actually really nice. Road closed. Hmm. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I know a lot, but not this. Damn, 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 damn. You, down now. May I ask you something? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. <sighs> Could you help me? What makes you think I can be of any help? I don't know. <laughs> Meow. Excuse me, just one question. Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might. Damn it. Where's a taxi? Excuse me, just one question. I know a lot, but not this. I am striking out. My dearest Lucy. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm supposed to be here because absolutely no taxis are ready. Unless I jumped the gun way too soon and I softlocked myself? Could the game allow me to do that, though? Alright, let's go to the Giddy Gator. Well, that alcoholic is gone. Could you help me? Sorry, mister. Can't help you. Ask someone else. Damn. There's Lucy, blah, 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 blah. But she's not at the ship. That's blocked off. I'm not going back over there yet. You, sir. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, mister. I can't help you. Ask someone else. All right. Thank you, though. Hmm. Is this familiar to you? What makes you think I can be of any help? I don't know. You're just standing there. Maybe you like questions and I like answers. Alright, it has to be somewhere around here. Someone has to know. Hey, Poochie Kabuchi. Oh, 
help me, please? No, I've not heard about that. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, the luggage looks like it's at least out. We're gonna ask everyone in this area. Someone has to know. You both look tired. Lucky we have ways to lift your spirits. Well, I'd rather find a lady named Lucy. Sir, do you know anything about this? You better ask someone else about that. And everyone else is like, oh, I'd help you in other ways. It's like, eh, I'm good. May I ask you something? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Excuse me, just one question. No, I've never heard of it, but I can help you with something else. May I ask for your assistance? No, I've never heard of it, but I can help you with something else. Hmm. Hopefully we won't stumble upon the sheriff. May I ask for your assistance? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Do you know anything about this? No, honey, I've heard nothing. Well, that's a different answer. Rooms available, room one and two. I want to... She wasn't there originally. I've been running around this entire place. Wow, who keeps pinging? Uh, she keep... Johnny boy. So how was it with champagne? Most enlightening, thank you. And now my friend Mr. Holmes would like to talk to you, too. Well, ain't you something? What can I do for you? I'm afraid I bring bad tidings. How bad? It concerns your significant other, Arneson. Arneson? Now, who said we were lovebirds? Lucy, we only mean to help. No word of the matter shall spread. What are you implying? No, not that. No, not that. Definitely not that. No, not that. The man in this letter seemed ready to declare his feelings for you. Sounds like he was more than a client. It's part of the job. Men can say weird things when they think they're in love. Uh-huh. This photo of you and Mr. Arneson suggests the feelings were reciprocated. Looking interested when with the client is part of the job, Mr. Holmes. I don't even remember the man. You mean to say you take pictures with everyone? If they ask nicely. And pay. Uh-huh. And where is it? Arneson definitely paid for a ring in your size inscribed, My princess, my love, my heart. It is for you. Arneson was going to propose marriage. Facts are clear. You know Mr. Arneson and perhaps even love him back. Regardless, he has been abducted. His life is hanging in the balance. Please, help me save him. Oh, oh my Errol! What have you gotten yourself into? I, I didn't want to believe this could happen. Lucy, Lucy, what do you know? Could it have been the sheriff? I don't know, John. This town has darkness in it. Errol and me, we had plans, dreams. We wanted to make this place better for all the folk who live here. Errol had grown suspicious of Ashmat, thought he was acting odd. He brought up the bayou. I told him to leave it all alone. The water's there. They swallow everyone. You mean the alligators? No, no, no. It's local legend. The bayou's dangerous. Any visitor that sees death messengers, they die. These messengers, are they abstract or a landmark? They're white lilies. You see a path with them flowers, you turn around. All right, Watson. We must find someone to take us to the bayou. Lucy, you have our thanks. We will go and look for Arneson. Okay, keep that in mind. If you see white lilies... Oh, newcomer outfit. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Hmm. And then... Eh. Where is the top oh, there? All right, we know where we're going and what to do. Bottle of champagne to champagne. 
Now we're on a roll. Champagne, I have you. Hello again, and thank you. Your last tip proved extremely useful. Don't mention it, Cher. Champagne ain't one for trickery. Now, if you need more help... As it happens, we need to take a short trip through the bayou into the nearby swamp. Of course, you'd receive fair compensation. It's almost dusk, and only fools go into that swamp at night. Come back tomorrow. Champagne will take you down. That will not do. We must go now. It is of grave importance. I won't take you. But if you're crazy enough to go, I'll sell you the boat. Wouldn't you know it, I came across a bottle of your hmm. namesake. Will that be enough for a boat? It's warm. The bottle's dirty. But we got a deal. I'll even lend you this rifle. <laughs> if you're going into swamp, you'll need it. One last favor. The boat that we came on is to leave tomorrow for Europe. Would you kindly relay a message to the crew for us? We may need them to hold their departure till 8 in the morning. Of course. Thanks, Champagne. End of the chapter. Chapter 6, baby. Oh. The call of the bayou. The swamp. Oh, he is sweating. At least in Afghanistan, we had nippy nights. It makes one yearn for rainy London. This place, Champagne, did not mince words about it. Keep your wits about you, Watson. We are inching closer to the heart of this mystery, however dark it may be. Hell's bells! I told you to stay away, Doctor. That he did, Holmes. I rule these boys. Don't hide from me. Stupid sheriff and his boys. No case goes cold on my watch. Settle down, boys. Our friends are as good as gone. This is it, Watson. Our moment of truth. Oh, ho, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll continue this next time, and we're in the bar, you right now, boy. <laughs> Oh, Jumbo! Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> we have two more chapters of this game, and so far I'm enjoying every moment of it. Uh, maybe, depending on how long this chapter is, I might be able to finish the game in the next one. If not, hey, sweet, we still have two more parts, but until then, I will see you next time, and we go through the bye, boy. See ya.